mile. So it's not like in the US where you have to raise, you know, millions of dollars from investors and then hope that your business doesn't fail and that you can return 10 times the investment, right? So the reason why I'm here is because it's actually cheap to start a business and I've started more than 20 already so far, right? You can go to my website, uh, lizagroup.uk, L-E-Z-A-H-G-R-O-U-P.uk to see all the companies I've started. So that's the reason why I'm here and my business philosophy is that we need to build parallel institutions, right? You need to build institutions that can replace the traditional government institutions that are controlled by politics. So for example, I'm building a university, a university called the, the Georgian Biomedical University. And the reason why is because I used to teach at the university and I discovered that the University of Guyana was very, very political. In other words, everything that happened was dominated by local politics. And the only way to, to build an independent institution, the only way to escape the politics is to build an independent institution. So that is what we're doing. We're building independent institutions, independent universities, independent hospitals, independent um, schools, independent airlines, and so on. So that even if the government changes, it will not change these institutions. So for example, if you are stuck in, if you're a Guyanese citizen and you're stuck in Asia, for example, in China, and you can't get home because there's a pandemic, the Guyana government was not able to send an aircraft to pick you up the way the US and Canadians and so on were able to send an aircraft to pick up US citizens and Canadian citizens. We want to solve that problem and we want to do it with independent institutions. And the only way we can do that is if we have our own airlines and our own independent institutions. So that, for example, if there's an emergency where a Guyanese group or citizens are stuck, whether it be in Vienna, Austria, or in, in Ukraine, because it's a war coming, we should be able to send an, air an aircraft to pick up our citizens and to bring them back to our country. And that is what is behind the companies I'm starting. It's behind the philosophy, my business philosophy, to build in independent institutions that are, are able to function despite the politics and the corruption that is endemic in you know, in countries like Guyana. So that's my business philosophy, guys. That's my story on how and why I'm starting Les Air, Lisa Air. And that is why I'm still in Guyana. We're now at Ogle. This is my turn back point. I usually walk five miles or run five miles out and then head back in. So this is the halfway point for my run. So I'm going to stop here. In my next video, I'm going to explain to you some of the local challenges. And I have a channel that deals specifically with business. If you want to follow the growth of these companies that I'm building, you want to um, participate, invest in some of these companies, you should log on to my, not subscribe to my business channel, that is Raffle Nation Business. And you'll be able to see step by step how these businesses are progressing. But that's what's up guys. That's what's happening in this neck of the woods. If you want to see more content like this, click like and subscribe, share this video with friends and family around the world. Let people know what's happening here in Guyana, the fastest growing country in the world. Later.